I'm having fun with these, man. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection, the space on YouTube where we talk about Sailor Moon all the time. My name is Brooke. I'm your host on this channel. Huge Sailor Moon fan and collector, as you guys know. And today is super exciting because look where we are. What? We are back in my collection room in the basement. For those of you guys who may be new, I do have a entire room wall to wall filled with collectibles and it is mostly Sailor Moon. I haven't been down here in this room. I've been focusing on my content creator studio and office space upstairs for the past few months. I've really neglected my collection room. And in 2024, my new goal is to get this room together because right now I'm absolutely ashamed of it. Of the state it's in. I am absolutely proud and I love all the things I own. It's just, oh, please don't judge me too harshly for the state of this room. It's just life is very busy and when I get a new toy or collectible, I just throw it on the floor. <laughs> In 2024, like I said, my new goal is to get this room together. I'm going to try to document it on my YouTube channel and on my socials as well in short form content as much as possible so you guys can feel like you're joining in. I've been told you guys like these kind of videos, so if you want to see the transformation of this room in 2024, make sure to let me know what you want to see in particular. Do you like time lapse videos? Do you like when I'm talking and going through things? Um, I would definitely would love some feedback to hear what you want to see when I redo this room. But that's not what this video is about. Today's video is all about Proplicas. I got my brand new moon stick brilliant color edition Proplica from Ami Ami. It's in this box. I only cut the tape just to make sure that that's what this package was. As a collector we get lots of packages in the mail so we just gotta verify. <laughs> but I have not opened it yet. We're gonna do that in this video together. We're gonna have a discussion about the Proplicas. But we'll unbox it first, test it out, and then I'll give you guys a review and comparison from the older 2020 2014 one that came out a decade ago. It's crazy. It's been a decade since the first release of the Proplica Moonstick. This was actually Proplica's very first Proplica in their series. They re-released it as a brilliant color edition in 2024. If you guys can remember, pre-orders for this did start in January this year. Japan version came out in April. And then the international version is going to come out, I believe right now it says June. So if you guys have the international one on pre-order, you don't have it yet, obviously, but it is coming. Here's how Ami Ami packs. It's very, very good packing. I've been buying from Ami Ami literally since the first one came out. I don't think I got my 2014 Moonstick from Ami Ami, but I've been shopping from Ami Ami since the last 10 years. I think maybe even before that. <laughs> I love them. If they have it in their shop, I typically will choose Ami Ami over any other retailer just because they usually are the cheapest and they offer the best rates when it comes to shipping. I love their little anime characters they create and just kind of says thank you for shopping with us. This is not sponsored by the way. I paid my own money for this Proplica and I always want to be transparent with you. A lot of times I do pay my own money for these items so these are my unbiased reviews and even when I do have a sponsor all my opinions and views on the item are honest but this is not sponsored. Paid for this with my own money folks. Oh it's upside down. <laughs> I love the new color of the boxes. As you saw, the 2014 one is just very white, very plain, very simple. They got bold and in your face with the new moon stick. Ooh, the box is much thinner. Holy crap. <gasps> They really upped their game. I just got deja vu, by the way. I think I had a dream filming this exact video in this exact time. This is so weird. Deja vu freaks me out. Look at the difference right off the bat with the boxes. Now, it, is, it does look like it is the same height, but it's definitely not the same width. Look how much space you can save just by upgrading to the new one or collecting the new one. I'm kind of studying them right now. I love that the brilliant color one, the new version for 2024, it has a high gloss on the box versus the older one 
on which isn't glossy at all and it looks like they used some poor quality cardboard even though it's a brand new item i bought this brand new these are not just marks from age look at the little specks that got printed on the cardboard since they chose a white background it is very easily botted and it doesn't look that great i definitely will say i prefer the new style of boxes being glossy being shiny thinner lighter probably less packing material all around good choice in the new boxes do they not put the dates on these anymore the older ones they usually always have the dates on there see in this one it says uh, bondi 2014 made in china and in the same area on the new box it doesn't say the date i wonder if that's anywhere else it is not i really like it as a collector when items come out with the date on the box that really helps us to remember when they came out to reference the box that's kind of sad obviously not a huge deal but i love that part as a collector that's really helpful what the heck with this version of the Moonstick, this was available at a lot of different retailers. It was not a Tamashi web exclusive item. You could have got it at any retailer that sold Proplicas. So it was widely available from a lot of places like Ami Ami. When it is a Tamashi web exclusive or a P Bandai exclusive, you cannot get it from retailers like Ami Ami. You have to get it from usually a proxy or wait for the international version. So this was great that it was much more accessible to a lot of people. And I love, like I said, ordering from Ami Ami. Let me tell you what I paid for this. I got to talk about the cost because I got it for an amazing cost because right now the US dollar to yen is amazing. When Ami Ami invoiced me, I noticed that Sal shipping was back. I used to love to use Sal shipping. It was the most affordable. You wouldn't get things super fast usually with Sal, but it was the best shipping price to me anyway. And I haven't used it since pre-pandemic because I took that method of shipping away during the pandemic and even years after the pandemic. So it's finally back. And I think it has been back for a while. I just haven't used it yet. I got so used to using DHL and FedEx and EMS. So I decided to give Sal shipping a chance since it's been so many years and I couldn't believe how fast it was. Mine shipped on April 24th and I got it May 3rd. That was a week and two days and I thought it was going to take three weeks for it. It didn't and I'm wow I'm so glad I chose Sal because it was the cheapest. Total that I paid for the product and for shipping was 12,477 yen. And I usually always use PayPal to pay for my online goods. It just gives me a sense of security. 84.64. And that's even cheaper than the retail cost of the international version that comes out in June at $104.99. And the point that I wanted to make by telling you guys that, because I know a lot of you guys live in the United States, you live in Canada, and you like to wait for the international release to do orders. It's just convenient for you and you're used to that. But I want just to remind you guys, do not be afraid of buying things from Japan, especially when it's on retail sites like AmiAmi.com, which ships to many, many countries. We always make sure to update you guys where you can buy all of these items through SailorMoonFanNetwork.com. So we updated you guys at the moment the AmiAmi pre orders popped up online and you could have ordered it yourself a lot of times it saves you money especially right now if you're in the united states our dollar is stronger and we get a great great price so i just want to remind you guys if you're normally used to paying the international release prices because maybe you shop at big bad toy store maybe you do entertainment earth maybe you do usa amazon which usually charges the retail price for the international like i said i got it for under the retail because i bought it from Japan with the yen rate being so good and another perk if you order from Japan you get it before the international release the Japanese release always comes out a month to several months before the international don't be afraid folks little Brooks tip right here <laughs> I always open my stuff from the bottom of the box. I like to keep the top here pristine condition. So I always just cut from the bottom. There is a piece of tape on the bottom and top. It doesn't matter which way you guys open it. That's just honestly what I have done for the majority of my collecting life. Let's pop it open. Oh, I'm thinking about it guys. Slam that like button for me. Help my channel grow by engaging, whether that's liking this video, leaving a comment down below, all of the above. Ooh, this is how it looks 
right outside the box. We've got the handy manual, which I'm gonna need a refresher. I haven't played with this moonstick since probably 2014. Well, no, maybe when the disguise pin and the transformation brooch came out because those two proplicas can be displayed together. So I might've tinkered a little bit with it back then, <laughs> but still it's been quite a long time. The type of plastic they use is different. I can just tell by the feel of it. Beautiful. If you guys notice the 2014 version is just hanging back here behind me. Look at the different color. I might like this more than I think. It does have a clear piece of plastic on top. As you guys saw, um, I don't notice any tape. So you should just be able to remove it like that. Beautiful. We can even see it even better now. And we're just going to remove all the pieces. We got a base here and the base is also different than the old one i believe yes it has a iridescent shiny finish to it and the base has two parts so remove those carefully we do have the silver crystal oh, 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 oh. we'll set that down gently and we also have the games we show that can be put on the moon stick oh my gosh wow i've been seeing other videos already and it's really kind of hard to tell the iridescent coating that it has i'm really curious to know if my video is going to pick it up i'm assuming it's not but take my word for it it has an iridescent shine it's a much lighter pink than the previous one i'm gonna go ahead and um, bring this little dude over here so i can just kind of look at it before that maybe i should set up the stand so i don't keep setting it down on the table. For those of you guys who are not familiar with the Propica line, the Propica line is like Bondi's version of toys that they used to make back in the day. Now it's collectibles for adults. They're typically one-to-one -one life scale size. They are fully electronic. They've got a lot of features on them and they come with a hefty price. This year is Proplica's 10th anniversary. They've been around since 2014. So that's why they decided to re-release their very first Proplica as the Brilliant Color Edition, which no surprise there, they've been chucking out these Brilliant Color Editions from the Sailor Moon franchise for a while now. Fans have mixed opinions on that line. <laughs> Some people absolutely loathe it because they collected the previous editions and they want new Proplicas that haven't been created yet from the Sailor Moon series, which I get. I actually agree. I think they should release the Brilliant Color Editions alongside new Proplicas that we haven't had yet, but I don't know what they're doing. I can talk all day about how frustrating Sailor Moon is treated from a lot of different companies. I am gonna set up the stand real quick. It's very simple. You just pop these in like this, like that. that's literally it. Self-explanatory almost. But I think if you do need an explanation, it's probably in the guide as well. I guess we can take a look at the guide too, see what it all says. I wonder if the guide is different from the guide from 2014. We'll take a look at that. So here's the guide that it comes with. Very nice full-size guide. The guide is mostly in Japanese, especially when it goes to talk about the Sailor Moon series and what the Propolka actually is to Sailor Moon. But when you open it up, and you get to the instructions, there are English instructions in this manual to help you learn how to work this moon stick. I love how they show the original Bondi toy right here. How many of you guys own the original? It actually does not show you how the stand goes together. Even to them, it's self-explanatory. It shows it as the support stand, and then there's the base. I'm looking at the setup instructions here, and it does show you how to remove the cover of the moon stick to get to the back. Batteries. You do have to have a screwdriver, by the way, to replace the batteries when they die. And that is something that I do not like or agree with of what they have done with the newer Proplicas. In 2014, when the Moonstick came out, the original one, they did not have batteries installed. And that's how it should be. Because if you buy a Proplica and you never ever remove the batteries because of course they include testing batteries inside the actual device. And if you don't remove them, they could corrode over time. I don't understand why the Proplica, or should I say Bandai Tomashi Nations has decided to include the testing batteries inside the device. That's a bad, bad idea in my opinion, because I know it's going to ruin some of these. Some people are going to forget to remove them over time. It will corrode, unfortunately. So that's just a little reminder. If you're not going to use your Proplicas or play with them, remove those batteries. You can always just put them in a little Ziploc bag or something 
and keep a screwdriver handy if you need to pop them back in and play with it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those batteries. There's a little notch on each side of the back cover. This secures the moon stick to its base, but you can also use it to stick a fingernail in to remove the back cover. Should pop off just like that. Here is the tab that you will remove so the batteries will work. Ta-da! After you remove that tab, this button still will not work. You actually have to twist this base down here. You're going to see a star, a little notch in the middle, and a moon. It will be defaulted in the middle where the notch is. So if you turn it to the star mode, you will hear a sound. And star mode is all of the sounds without Japanese dialogue. And if you switch it over to the moon, that is going to have the Japanese voices from Sailor Moon, Kotono Mitsuishi, the wonderful, iconic Japanese voice actor for Sailor Moon. So this is all in Japanese. It is not in English. I'm going to switch it back over to the middle and just kind of show you guys real quick. If you have a little screwdriver, you're just going to unscrew it right here real easy. You don't need to be handy really to understand this system. That's how it is removed. And then you can see the batteries. And I'm glad I kind of opened it up. The batteries are not even pushed all the way in. It does take three LR44 batteries, which are like the watch type style batteries. I'm gonna just pop them back in more securely. See how they're now flush with the device. And if your batteries don't work when you remove that tab, you might have to remove the little cover just in case, just to check those batteries. They are just testing batteries as they claim, and they are probably not as great as fresh batteries. So if you're experiencing any type of malfunctions through the sound, maybe it's not always playing the sound, the first thing I would suggest to do is to change these batteries out with fresh batteries. Popping that bad boy back on, and now we're gonna play with the sounds. Ooh. Before we look at the differences between these and listen to the sounds, I wanna put the silver crystal in here. It does go right here and it's really easy to install. It has these little two ball type things on the side. Now be careful because this thing will shoot out at the speed of freaking light. So if you just push those at the same time simultaneously, oh, I expected that thing to just shoot out. It did not. <laughs> but if you push them both, it will pop it out slightly. I will just be honest with you. I did this just before and it, flew out okay so i don't know why it didn't fly out the second time just be prepared because it could go somewhere and it could hit something metal and scratch it and i know you guys are collectors too why am i doing this i'm just pointing at you guys i know you guys are collectors too and i don't want this to go flying hit something metal and get scratched up and then you can just install the silver crystal just by fitting it in there and you can see the little light bulb in there too the light bulb line it up and pop it in this little cute thing it just goes on the stand it's really cool how they designed a little area for this so you don't lose it you need to just be good and just stay okay please i know you fit in there it was giving me trouble it's not a secure fit at all it's very loose i have the power two moon sticks is better than one right <laughs> now they did state exactly what the differences were in the paint the jewels and everything i'm just going to tell you what i can notice the first and very obvious differences are the colors not only do we have different pinks but we also have different gold colors the gold in the 2014 version seems to be more of a yellow gold the brilliant color edition is paler in comparison they are 10 0.2 inches tall. The silver crystals differ in color as well, more on that in a bit, but a big difference is what houses the gems on the front. It has been completely redesigned. You can see the major differences at the top of the part where the little balls are. And the last difference in the design is the shape of the crescent moon. And I noticed this later on in the video and I'll include some clips on when I realized that the shape was different. It's really subtle, so it caught me by surprise. The brilliant color edition is actually more rounded than the 2014 one. It's very strange to me that they decided to go back on the design and round out the tips of the crescent moon, but it is less sharp than the 2014 one. It almost looks like they just snipped a bit off. Now let's check out some sounds. What do we got? Okay, so I'm on star mode on this one. Let's go to star mode on my old one. My little old one. I still love you. We're not replacing you. We're not replacing you. <laughs> There's a lot of sounds and light features that these moon sticks can do. It does change up if you install the silver crystal. So I'll do demonstrations of both, but I do have the silver crystal in. So it's going to give us a little bit of different sounds and dialogues according to the manual here. Remember we're on star mode and star mode is just background music and sound effects. We're just gonna do a short press. And I'm gonna always start with the 2014 version first.
Here we go on the 2024. Did that sound different to you? I think it sounded a little different. I'm gonna press it at the same time. This one lights up better. Do you see that? Do you see the difference? This one lights up way better. Wait, is my bulb out? This one stopped. What the heck? No, the bulb's not out, look. It's just a lot lighter. I don't know if mine is just almost burned out or if that's how it always was. And this one stops, this one keeps going. There is a difference in the sound on the short press. They said they were, it was the same thing, but I'm getting different as you guys saw. That's different. Don't believe anything you just saw. At the time of filming this video, I honestly thought my 2014 one differed in certain sound effects than my 2024 one. However, that is not true. Today is Wednesday. I came down here to film B-roll for this video and I got to thinking, it's like there's no way that the sounds would be cut off like it sounded when I did short press on my 2014 one. So I got to tinkering around. I grabbed some more fresh LR44 batteries and replaced the batteries that was in my 2014 one with a fresh set just to see. Now it sounds identical. I have to like delete a lot of footage originally that I filmed when I was showing you guys the short press, the long press, all the modes because that footage is a lie now because I found out mine actually had batteries that were dying in it. This is just post-production. I'm going to do all of the sound effects in this clip instead of using my original clips although I might still include some of my original clips for funsies because they're they're kind of funny I was like what is going on why are they different I remember being so confused when I was filming my original video on Sunday about the sound differences thinking what the heck did Bondi do they said the sound chip inside these devices was the same as the 2014 one it's like oh my gosh I got to share to the Sailor Moon world that it's actually different they made a mistake but it's not true so if yours is short circuit or it's not playing the full sound effects, replace those batteries. It's time to take those out and put fresh ones in. Let's go ahead and get into the true sound and light demonstration. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the silver crystal. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, I just installed the little gold piece back in. We're gonna switch back to star mode. I just noticed something. It's way sharper 
on the 2014 one. They rounded it out. They rounded it out. Do you guys see that? I just now noticed that. Holy moly. That's strange they went back. Was it poking people's eyes out? Oh yeah, the monster detector! It says press again to vary the speed. Okay, that kind of gets annoyed after a while. And you can't shut it off! You just have to let it go through. Whew, at least it wasn't that long. We're gonna go to the moon mode. I love the little twisty thing at the bottom. It's just so satisfying. With dialogue. Remember, this is with the dialogue. think so far of the brilliant color moon stick highly recommend the proplicas if you guys aren't a huge sailor moon collector if you don't buy a lot of the sailor moon products these are the ones i think every sailor moon fan should own especially the moon stick the moon stick is the og it is so iconic so if you are on the fence about getting a proplica because they are kind of expensive a great opportunity for you to get it if you missed out on the 2014 one maybe you can still get them from japan check our sailormoonfannetwork.com links below maybe you can get in on that great yen rate that i talked about at the beginning of this video i do think they are worth it and they always go up in price after they're no longer easier to find and to buy they hold their value really so far love it not mad that i just bought a second moon stick Oh, did I talk about how you just pop it in the base? Remember those little notches that I was telling you about that that's how you pop out the battery cover? You just line those up with the base here and once you hear a click, it's secured in here. Did you hear that little click? It's secure. Now, you know, don't go whipping it around in the air like you just don't care, but it's secure for now. And then you can just put that little piece in the little notch that it contains. I am very disappointed in the light on the older one. We're gonna definitely talk about the differences in the uh, review part of the video. Oh God, which one's which? We didn't even talk about, this is not even the right one. This is not even the right one. This whole time I had the wrong one. What is this? Is this the miniature Lee tablet one? Oh my Lord, this is embarrassing. I have to go get the right one. Oh, you know what? The cool thing is you should be able to hear my audio when I go out into the hallway to find it. You guys were going together. Oh, I forgot to bring my glasses. Here it is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did not bring it. Wow fail. Thought you were supposed to be a good professional YouTuber, Brooke. Clearly not. I'm back. I found it. Wow. This whole time I thought it was that one. There has been so much Sailor Moon merchandise released. I get confused when it's out of the packaging. I'm just going to admit that. I get so confused. And clearly they're different because this one also can hold the silver crystal. So it's actually a base for it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's just do it. How many times have I popped this son of a bee out? But I'll show you the differences between the two crystals. This is the new 2024 edition. This is the 2014 edition. So it is much more more just iridescent in the new version. Let me just show you. I just popped out the silver crystal. You have to remove the little base. Forgot how you do it though. Oh, you just pull it out. This is basically a display stand for the silver crystal right here. So just match it up to the notches that it has. There's a couple of little holes on each side and voila. It can be stored so cute like this. It's like a complete silver crystal now. It wasn't complete without the round part before. I'm so concerned about accidentally mixing these up, but you should, the color should match up and that's what they look like. They're so cute. Little silver crystals. I just put the little piece back and you can just display the base of the silver crystal right there too alongside this. I don't know, it's kind of, this piece, I don't know why they decided just to kind of keep that there. It's kind of hideous to be displayed with this because it's not, you know, technically a magical item. I get this. 
I get this, but the way that it's just displayed is so strange. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna talk about my review. If I think you guys need the 2024 Moonstick, the Brilliant Color Edition, besides the colors and the slight redesign of the Moonstick itself, it is exactly the same as the 2014 one as far as functionality goes and the sound chip. I believe it's only worth the buy if you don't own the original 2014 version, or if you prefer the lighter pink color of the Brilliant Color Edition. Otherwise, unless Unless you're a crazy collector like me, you don't need both. I didn't notice any differences from the sound quality. They sound very equal as far as the speakers go and the quality. I'm trying to find out if I like this color better or this color. It's really hard to choose. I really do like them both. I am more partial, I think, to the Brilliant Color Edition, and I have been that way with every single Brilliant Color release that they have come out with. I've been buying them all, and when I get them in my hand, I think, to me, they look more like the animation than their previous counterparts, especially the Cosmic Heart Brilliant Color Edition. That one I was blown away by. Except after looking at actual animation screenshots from the 90s, I think the Brilliant Color Moonstick Edition looks less like the 90s animation than the first Moonstick release. The first one is much more saturated in the pink and gold, and I think that matches the animation more. What about you guys? What do you think? But that's up to debate as well. Like that's subjective. That's just my opinion. No right or wrong answers, honestly. I mean, you can collect and buy whichever one is your favorite. Functionally, it's all still the same. The base is exactly the same. I didn't even think they changed up anything other than the coating on it. I almost did the closing statements, but I think we have to talk about inside the 2014 one. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh, I remember it was like a two tier system. Look at that. It's got two parts. They uh, clearly, redesigned this they were like this is unnecessary this is unnecessary <laughs> why did they even have two parts i don't even remember they put the moon stick right there in the front and then they had a whole separate thing for the base I, gosh, I don't remember this. This has been 10 years ago. Freaky, 10 years ago. Here is the manual. I keep my collectibles in very good shape. I actually store all of the boxes in plastic tubs so they don't get water damage, mildew damage, anything like that. Everything is pristine as I can possibly keep it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the differences in the manuals. They look like they're the same size though. Now I can't read Japanese, but it does look to be the exact same. I don't think they changed anything up. You can see that the imagery that they use is the exact same. It's just the backgrounds that they changed. Oh, I forgot how beautiful the Moonstick pamphlet was uh, when you opened it up like this. I really do enjoy the pink. So in 2014, when the first Proplicas came out, they did not include English instructions in the Japanese versions. It's all in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. They did upgrade the Proplicas to include both Japanese and English operating instructions, which I think was nice. Gotta have both. <laughs> but other than that, there's just minor differences uh, between the pamphlets here. I thought it'd be cool to show you guys just the differences between the two boxes and the pamphlet and all of that for those who may have never owned the 2014 edition of the Proplica. It's so cool to see how far we've come. This is just unnecessary. I'm so glad they redesigned this. <laughs> I just love how the 2014 one did not come with batteries installed. I will say that's what this one had going for it. So don't forget if you buy your Proplicas, remove the batteries eventually. If you're going to let them sit for long periods of time, I don't want you guys to destroy your expensive Proplicas. Collector to collector tips. But guys, that's it for this video. Please let me know what you thought. Which one's your favorite? Are you gonna buy it? Are you not gonna buy it? Are you sick of the Brilliant Color editions? No right or wrong answers, as long as you are kind and respectful in your thoughts below on my video. This is a safe space for all, so rude or hateful comments will not be tolerated. But I usually don't have to worry about that with you guys. You guys are all freaking awesome. I am on my way to 25,000 subs, so if you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It's just as easy as clicking a button and it's completely free to you. Don't know if there's anything else that I have to say other than I will be updating this room in 2024. So please look forward to that kind of content. Watch another video on my channel if you are just at home, bored, you know, nothing else to do, laying in bed, not doing much, you know, just hanging, just hanging. I have plenty of videos on my channel that you may have not seen yet. So scroll through my feed, see if there's something that might pique your interest. interest. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day today. It is Sunday today. I'm really in a good mood because I, this Moonstick Propica has put me in a fantastic mood. Sailor Moon always puts me in a great mood. Okay, I'm gonna take that back. There are some things within the Sailor Moon franchise that frustrate me to no end. Collectively, as a whole, Sailor Moon brings me a lot of joy and happiness, and I hope it does to you as well. Bye, guys. <laughs>